Hi everyone and welcome to the Justin Rose Golf Academy. Today we're going to go through a few basics on how to set up to the golf ball. So first of all, let's start with how wide the feet need to be. So when we're hitting something called an iron, we'd like to see our feet shoulder width apart. So a good way to do that is to just look down, look either side of the shoulder and just feel as though each foot is below each shoulder. After that, we need to feel like the ball position is in the center of this stance. So the ball would go here, for example. Now let's talk about posture. So I'll go from this angle just so you can see me a little bit easier. So what you need to feel with the posture, we start feet shoulder width apart with the stance and then try and imagine that the weight isn't in the, in the toes or the heels, but in the shoelace area. So the weight we can feel that is feeling it too much in the toes, too much in the heels, and then finding the middle point. So we're gonna start standing up nice and straight. Then what I'd like you to feel is that your hips get pushed backwards in that direction. So if you're to take, hold the front of your hips, then push backwards, you'll notice that my back is nice and straight. So if we were to put a club against my back or an umbrella, it would be touching every part of that, that iron. Okay, then from there, we just want a nice bend in the knees. From that point, the club will be in the center of your stance with the ball there and the hands are just hanging, just in line with the spine. Now let's talk about grip, how to grip the golf club. The way that I like to imagine the golf, the golf club is as an extension of my left arm. So what I mean by that is a good way to set up to the grip. There's millions of ways to do this, but I'm going to go through a few that work best for me and that work best for the players that I work with. So if you to just rest the club on your left thigh and just let your arm hang down like this, you know, take hold of the grip so much so that you can look down and you can't see the grip. Hold it up and it just looks like an extension of the left arm. And that's how to place the left hand on. And from there, we just take the right hand and put that below the left hand. So much so that the two thumbs are running down the grip, pointing at the, golf, the club head. And the right thumb is completely covering the left thumb. 